Well, last week when we did our Thursday podcast, I told you that the Padres had about $28 million in budget space to be able to deal with their own free agents and then do something from the outside. Well, the whole key to Major League Baseball is pitching. And if you got good pitching, great. And if you can keep your good pitching, that's even better. And then do you go get more pitching? The Padres re-signed their starting pitcher, Nick Martinez. Came from Japan, became a really valuable, versatile guy for the Padres, first in the rotation, and then as a long reliever setup guy, he opted out of his contract. He just got a pay bump from $7.8 million to upwards of about $10 million for the next, at least the next three years. And they re-signed Roberto Suarez, who had opted out, and I think this was more an administrative thing, had an unbelievable season coming from Japan, Mexico, and, and uh, Venezuela, and they re-signed him to a five-year deal, base pay raise from $5 million up to $10 million. So the Padres locked down two guys that were integral depth guys to what they need to get done. Now, at this point, they've kind of committed a pile of that $28 million they had to those two guys. So it now remains to be seen what they do from the outside. Is there enough money to go get another starting pitcher? Or do they do it via trade? But who are you going to trade because they've kind of stripped the farm system bare? Or do you just ride the wave of what you got and hope everybody is healthy and the young pitcher, Ryan Weathers, bounces back? That's one item. And because they have a, a small, smaller amount of money to use, how do they spend their money? Because last I checked, they still need a first baseman. They're still going to need a left fielder. And they still need some bench chips. So, but they fired the first shot by by keeping Nick Martinez and keeping uh, Robert Suarez. Reaction from yeah, Padre fan? Great moves. Um, and I love how Martinez recognized that this is a place where the fan base is rabid, the, the players, the management, the ownership all want to win. So he's in. And I love hearing that. He'll slot in, hopefully, that number four starter spot. And then, yeah, Robert Suarez. I mean, he was just so great. And I was surprised he didn't test the market, but maybe he had similar feelings as Martinez. But love having him back. Well, remember, Suarez is 31 years of age. This guy's gone through a lot of adversity and fought his way into becoming a really good relief pitcher. And he's here. And he's found an established role. And he's getting an unbelievable payday. I don't know very many first-year players who go from the base $5 million right up to $10 million. And at, at this point in time, just because of the age and the injury history that they've had with Drew Pomerantz and the fact there's only one year left on Josh Hader's contract, although it doesn't mean he can't be re-signed, but it'd be a mega investment if they did that, that might be the future closer a year from now. So I think he found a comfort zone and they gave him a chance and he, he showed some loyalty, although obviously his, his pay scale got bumped up. Okay, from Padre Baseball.